Hey Taurus, I hope this is finding you well. Um, so for those who don't know me, I am a Gemini sun, but I've actually, I'm actually a Taurus stellium. I've got seven placements in Taurus, so I'm more Taurus than I am uh, Gemini. And I'm doing this reading on the actual Taurus full moon. I uh, don't know if any of my other Taurus is feeling it, but I feel like an actual psychopath today. I feel like everything is getting on my bosoms. Um, the world, people's behaviour, people's voices, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's the last supermoon of 2024, so what were I expecting? I shouldn't have expected anything different. Um, you know, Taurus influences, uh, the Taurus influence itself can be quite stubborn, um, you, you know, it it can make it hard for us to let go of control, uh, especially in certain situations where we kind of want control. It's also governed by Venus, um, you know, so Venus has an aspect of uh, your relationships, your finances, um, the things that we bring in and accumulate. So it may bring in a, a time where, well, it is a time now where you're going to be analysing. You're going to be analysing your relationships, whether it be the relationship with yourself, with other people, romantic, friendship, family. Also analysing your finances, um, how you, if you want to... Some of my sources are going to be literally waking up in the next couple of weeks and be like, I don't even want the job, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like, who am I? It can bring up, like, uncertainty, but um, unexpected situations as well. So all I can say is ground, 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 Taurus. Um, you know, we've got Pluto coming out of a 15-year cycle um, from Capricorn, which is like the material and power and things. And it's now on the 19th, it'll be going into Aquarius. Uh, when it goes into Aquarius, it is the humanitarian energy. But I feel like when it goes in Pluto in Aquarius, you've got to look after you. You are human. And it's about looking after you as well. Like, you should always come first in that sense. Uh, so it's going to bring about a lot of, like, revelations and um, there's going to be a lot of change internally, you know. But it's it's for the it's for the good, you know. The inter the internal changes that we make, not just Taurus, everybody with this alignment, is going to have an effect on the world as a whole anyway. And that's the Aquarius energy. It's it's the humanitarian and and Jess. So we start looking after us. We start doing what's best for us, and it has that ripple effect. So and something else weird happened yesterday when I was doing the air signs. So I picked up my empowerment deck, and for some reason I picked up two. I didn't even know I, I had two anymore because I sold them all. Um, so, and I put them together and I started reading with them both. There was a reason, in I think it was the Gemini, and it made sense. So I'm just leaving them like this while I do these readings this weekend. So I'm going to get you one from the You Can Do This and see what we get from that. So my Tauruses. We've got difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Yeah, so if you do feel like you're on a difficult road at the moment and things feel like everything's effing up and, uh, you, you know, it's about taking you to that beautiful destination. Someone else got this yesterday. I don't know where it might have been Libra, but then again, that could have been last week. Um, it, you know, it's about new destinations. So the, the negative things that are going on at the moment, it's coming up in order for you to make clear-cut decisions and lead you towards them beautiful destinations, you know, in that age of Aquarius, in that Pluto in Aquarius, you know. Again, it's that 15-year cycle. Think about the last 15 years of your life, uh, you know, especially if you're like an old chick like me. Think of the last 15 years of your life. What cycle have you been living? You know, I know I, I was in a fear of success cycle, and this week I'm kind of pushing myself out there. Um, so always please check your sun, moon, rising on your Venus. I keep saying it. I'm on TikTok now as well and I'm doing lives on TikTok and I keep explaining to people the reason why you should be checking your sun, moon, rising and your Venus because they're all really important. So I'm going to dive straight in using the empowerment deck. <laughs> the big deck. I've only got little hands as well. So Taurus. And we've got the Taurus sun, moon as well. What's going on? We're manifesting. That's where they want you to be careful with your thoughts and not think, oh my God, my life just turned to shit, everything's just going crap. We don't want to manifest that. We've got to see it as things are coming up to be released in order to make space for our manifestations to come in, then beautiful destinations, you know, the map to be like kind of laid out so we can get to where we want to be. 
So we're manifesting Taurus. I do feel like I'm in my Taurus energy this week. Yeah, what's challenging that is letting go. It's letting go, letting go of certain things that we're holding in. Um, I don't know why I wanted to say muscle memory then. So muscle memory, it can be trauma. We can feel um, pains in our body, you know, that type of thing. And it can actually be stored trauma. So you could have like pain, you could have certain things that are coming up and you may be like, oh, I'm in a flare up or uh, why are my elbows hurting or, uh, you know, that type of thing. So when I'm stressed, my elbows really hurt. Um, it's always my elbows for some unknown reason, uh, more my right. But it's about letting go, so I'm getting physical there as well. But it's definitely down to the the mental thoughts because she's sitting on that swing, she's kind of relaxing and looking back. It's like putting something to death. Uh, you know, it's like finally burying something, but not burying it away where it's going to rot and, uh, you know, come back. I mean, just saying goodbye to a certain section, period of your life. So it's quite a big F. Why is this coming right now for my Tauruses? Sacral chakra. Your womb, sexual organs, dealing with children, deal, dealing with sexual partners, ex-partners. Um, it can be dealing with um, generational energy, karmic energy, you know, so family, siblings, that type of energy. It's all coming in around that. Some of my feminines could be experiencing certain energies down there, like infections, uh, you know, that type of thing, bleeding for no reason. Uh, your sacral chakra is, it, there's a blockage in the sacral chakra at the minute. And, but the sacral chakra is the chakra of creativity. So we want you to get creative. The recent past, we've got the throat chakra and we've got peace and contentment. You're already putting it out there or there already has been conversations, you know, you're opening your throat chakra. And that is what you want. You want peace and contentment and you're putting it out there. You're telling people, you're telling yourself, you know, it's like I want to live in just peace. I just want some peace. You know, I want, what do you need to let go of in order to get the life that you really want? And it might, it might not be a person, it might be resentment, it might be memories, you know, that type of thing. Because at present, they're telling you to concentrate on freedom. Uh, we're at two, at the end of 2024, we're freeing ourselves from the karmic path, the karmic debts, the karmic lessons, be, to be able to be free in order to follow our pursuits, in order to get onto that map and get towards that beautiful destination. You're freeing yourself in order to manifest. You're freeing up space in order to manifest. Some of my sources are feeling o overwhelmed, but it's like, what are you overwhelmed with? Is it energy? Because if it's not actual things, it could be the actual energy, and the energy at the, w at the minute is weird. But going forward, we do have a congratulations. So some of my sources, well, I want to say all of my sources, you are going to get to a point where you're congratulating, but I feel like you're congratulating yourself as well. So we've got, you've been given your energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others. Your experiences are your qualifications. It's like you're looking back over your lessons, but it's like, I get it now. I get what they were trying to tell me now. Your power in this situation is connection. Your power is the connection to you, to your higher self. Your higher self wants to glow. Your higher self wants to be free. It wants to just live life. You know, if you look at her at the bottom when I drew her, she looks a bit drained. She's pale. She's, you know, she wants to glow, especially like health, physical. You know, she wants to feel human. She wants to have all the human experiences. And there's just like an overwhelmed energy. The outside influence. We've got Elijah. So Elijah is my male guard. Uh, he's actually blind as Elijah. But I don't even know why I tell people that. Don't make no difference. Um, but w whenever I see a magpie, I get told something. So it's about listening to what you're being told. Uh, I feel it's more spirit. It's that spirit of whispering in your ear. You already know what you need to do. You may not have already got the message yet, though. And I'm not superstitious. I love my past. I'm protective of my past. In your hopes and fears... We've got Soul Sister, Soul Tribe, 
it's all family you know that's what you need to be around you you do not want people that are going to bring in conflict um because this is you're coming out of conflict you're coming out of jealousy or envy or uh you know resentment to the past it's like i don't want to fight it anymore i just want to let go of it because your outcome is accepting the gardens you're on the path so yeah you don't exactly know exactly where it's going because you know the future's dark but you're being led to something or somebody you've got the spiritual lantern you've picked up that lantern so every step forward is going to be illuminated the signs will be there the messages will be there to get you to where you need to be but this taurus full moon is asking you to free yourself from whatever it is that is stopping you from living the life that you really want to live so whoever it is whatever it is it's got to go it's got to go and that can be a painful process in itself but you'll be congratulating yourself very soon if you just let it go okay bye Mwah.